Welcome back. Now let's look in this next video at the resources that are available to you on McGraw-Hill My Math. Let's go over to Connect Ed. As you look at the screen, you'll notice that I've opened the first grade and there are our tabs across the top that we've already looked at together. And many of these we've already gone into and, and we know what their, what their job will be with regard to planning and instruction. And what I want to point out are just a few features. Again, notice here that I have all of these resources at my fingertips as I look at Chapter 1, Lesson 8. I'm moving the carousel along and if you put your cursor on any of these, you'll see what the tool is. And we've already opened eTools from here, but notice you have worksheets. We know we saw the more. Look at that a little bit and see what more means. Uh, there are your games. Notice this one says response to intervention. So I can open any of these assets. And of course, there's an interactive whiteboard pre presentation. And you even know how to use that and customize it. So I can easily use my carousel to do this. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and click on the resources tab. And of course, as we go over to the Resources tab, you'll notice we're again Chapter 1, Lesson 8, and these resources are specific to the lesson. Notice you see Problem of the Day, the answer key for that, a Common Core Quick Check, there are your virtual manipulatives. I can also look at the list with the icons on the left. I have 1eHelp, 2Games, seven response to intervention opportunities. If I click on that, you'll notice on the right that all of them will appear. And that response to intervention is reteaching, enrichment, an additional enrichment. Um, I can go here, uh, addition to 10 as an e-help. There are so many ways that I can access the, the resources, the components, the tools that I want to use as a part of instruction here. I can also, if we go up here to Lesson Search, let's close the, this one out. I can also go over here and search by keywords. I can search as favorites that I have already selected, things that I like, that I've, I've tabbed it for a specific reason. That would include uh, checking, professional development, any of those kinds of things. So I want you to be sure that you know you have so many ways to access the resources. And you'll notice here there are 208 resources that I could use um, embedded within my program. Now, as I go back here, let me go to the drop down menu for you. I mentioned to you that I was in chapter one. I can look at this very first choice, which are program resources and updates. We here at McGraw-Hill feel it's very important that we keep in touch with you and let you know what's happening in the world of education. We're going to constantly um, offer you opportunities to update your materials. Check there often to see what we've offered you. Here are all of your individual chapters here in first grade. Notice that you also have English language learner support, response to intervention, professional development. Perhaps you're interested in project-based learning. Uh, and then you can go over there and see the opportunities to offer projects to your students. Here are all of your Spanish resources, including each individual chapter and your student uh, journal pages as well. Here are the Spanish assessment masters, your Spanish benchmark tests. So look there if you're interested in finding some specific resources just for Spanish. Would you like to access your teacher's edition as a PDF? Go to the bottom of the drop-down menu and you will see all of that there for you. In addition, of course, you want to be sure that you, and clicking all these, notice, for instance, with response to intervention, that you can go into targeted strategic intervention here in a chapter-by-chapter -chapter look. So, again, spend some time looking at the resources, what they'll do for you, how they complement your planning and instruction. So that will be your task after this uh, time together looking at resources. Go into your resources tab, select a component that you would like to use, and practice using that as a part of your instruction.